Welcome YouTube, it's Woods, and I'm here to um, look at, I'm here to be with you. We're, we're here together. We're hanging out. Like this is the best you'll get, and this is the best I'll get to ever hanging out with you. So, take it seriously, and don't forget to subscribe. Today we're going to be looking at, uh, we're going to be hanging out and just looking at some art. It's going to be as simple as that. We're going to be looking at the most top 15 most expensive artwork <laughs> the top most the, the most top oh <laughs> just read the just read the article today we're going to be looking at the uh we're going to be looking at 2020's most <laughs> <laughs> Just read it! The top 15 most expensive artwork sold at auction in 2020. That's what we're going to be going over today. Not really going over, but perusing, really. We're, we're going to be uh, enjoying ourselves. Just you and me and the thousands of other people who are going to watch this. Just to give you like a standard of like how I'll be judging this art, does it intrigue me? Does it interest me in any way? Right? Like, does it make me think? Does it make me go... Mm -hmm. I know that there's tons and tons of pieces out there that I'm just not into because it's not my taste. So I just want to establish these points uh, because I know there's going to be a lot of comments that are like, well, Woods, you're just a fellow YouTuber. What do you know about art? And, and, and another thing, I know this is this is already like a long intro. Let's just let's just assume that you and I are out to buy some art. Let's say we've got a cool 50 billion. OK, what art are we going to buy? You know what I'm saying? And what kind of what kind of billionaire are you? We're capping the ch the cheapest off at twenty seven point six million dollars, so it's only going to get more expensive from here. And I will say this is pretty dope. I I don't know what it is, but I can reckon it's a street, possibly some trees, possibly a little lake. These are definitely trees. No, maybe they're not. Super abstract, super abstract. So on to the next one. This is called the Hon Miro uh, Fema U. Oh man, no, I'm not gonna try it. Could be either a woman or a duck. Uh, this definitely is an eye, but this surely is a beak. Or, or is it a nose? Is the Clifford still? This is t this is twenty eight point seven million. This is pretty. This is kind of like a Ro Rorschach test. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of fire over here, a little color vibrance over here, and then we got for like maybe. It seems like these two things are running towards this thing to like take its innocence. And I see it's got a little bit of blue in here, so maybe these two were used to be kind of like the yellow. Kind of like the yellow guy. Then they got corrupted with shadows and, and darkness. They went down the wrong path kind of thing. And this one's still like naive. I'll keep my eye on this. I'll note it and I'm going to circle back. Ooh, people. Oh, Pablo Picasso. See, there's also the aspect of like, there's names attached to them. They're like brands. He's got 29.2 million. It seems to be that we have a man on his knees bowing to this woman, naturally. And kissing her feet, maybe. But this could also be a woman, because naturally. But this could also be a woman, because naturally. But these could be lemons. So we're moving on to Barnett Newman. Oh, I get it. Oh, all right. So what I'm getting from this piece of art uh, is that rich people just don't have any taste. It seems like this might have just been an excuse to spend $30.9 million. But then again, when you have that much money, you have far different perspectives and you are far more cultured. So uh, who am I to... Uh, <laughs> to criticize these what well, seems to be two panels and a stripe to go in the in the middle of it i did get lost in this art trying to figure out what the hell it was and for a swift moment i was like could it be and then i was like no it's not it's not that bryce martin made this bad boy it looks like he made it from 2004 to 2007 it was a long process from a first glance it looks like 
It looks like a bunch of squiggly lines. I don't want this. This is unamusing to me. Okay, this one is by Mark Rothko. It's untitled. He didn't bother to title this, nor did he bother to even paint anything. It looks like a sample. It looks like a paint sample. This is $31.3 million. You ever wish you could just poop something out and you get $31.3 million? <sighs> if I can get a breakdown of this, I'm gonna try my hardest to get any, I know, I understand it's a piece of artwork and like you're kind of not supposed to have like an exact interpretation, but I'm gonna try to interpret it on any sort of level that's not, you know, paint sample. So what we've got here is a really dull TV set representing the drab, gloomy outlook on what society is. Boom. If I sound bitter, it's because I am a little bit. <laughs> Stan, 67 million years old. Okay, so this is the actual uh, T-Rex exhibit. Can we ju just address real quick that Stan, a 67 million year old skeleton of a, of a T-Rex, like a full skeleton, just $1 million more expensive than Mark Rothko's uh, awful TV painting. Okay, next up is $33.3 million, and it's a painting of four naked women lying on the grass. As a man, I wouldn't buy it. Oh my god, what is, what is this? Is this someone's, is this someone, like, this is someone, what is this? This is $38.7 million. Kai Twombly, untitled. He didn't bother to title it because it looks like he wrote it on a napkin. It seems to be he was doing some math over here, trying to figure out maybe, oh, okay, we got over here trying to figure out some measurements. It seems like over here he's just making sure this pen works. It, it, you know what this is? When you go to Office Depot and they have all those fancy pens on display and like you can sample right that sheet of paper that has all those pen marks, that's what this is. It's a $38.7 million pen sampling page. I don't, I just don't understand. They've got to at least like put some context into this. This is also 1967. 67 was just the year, it was just a good year. Whoever was the chump to buy this thing, this piece of scratch paper for $38 million, good job. We're gonna move on because I'm, I'm mad. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Wouldn't buy it for $41 million. What is this? Ren Renfa, five drunken princes returning on horseback. Ooh, uh, yeah, a 700 year old painting. Okay, this, this I understand. This has got a lot of history. It's from the 13th, 14th century. This, rem this one reminds me of uh, the boys. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna pick this one up. Well, this is pretty tight. I haven't seen this one. For me, it's a little too common. Uh, I'll say that I just don't think it's worth $46.2 million. That is just from your humble art collector with a hundred billion dollars. Ten views of Lingby Rock, and I'm intrigued. Whoa, seventy-three point four million to seventy-eight point four million. They're just not even sure. Their bidding lasted for an hour. Could you imagine just throwing money around for an hour? At what point do you think like rich people are just like? They just black out when they're auctioning. If I was like spending it on, say, what's his name, Mark Rothlow's thing, you can, I feel like you have to black out for that kind of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who can consciously spend that much money on a piece of red paper. All right, so our last piece is this guy. This is the most expensive piece by Francis Bacon. Not going to even try to attempt that. It's $84.5 million. Now, right off the bat, this is three paintings for the price of one. For the very large, three paintings for the price of $84.5 million. I'll be honest, it's a still. Remember, I have $100 billion. I actually would be pretty down to just sit and like ponder on these. We've got doors, there's a calf here. These are definitely some booty cheeks. Screw it, we're gonna grab this one. So we're gonna pick this Francis Bacon one up for $84.5 million. Ooh, the Ren Rafa, one for the boys. Uh, the Five Drunken Princes, we're gonna grab that one. Um, this one I might just buy to put in my basement so nobody can um, 
wonder why it was selling for so much. Definitely gonna grab Stan. You gotta grab Stan. Definitely not. Sorry, no. Not worth my money. This one's pretty cool, but I'm gonna leave it for a more uh, enthused person. This one's pretty dope, but I'm not sure I was uh, interpreting it correctly, and that turns me off. Um, and finally, the Gerard one. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, we're looking at a cool $94,640,000 uh, art day. It was a pretty good day. You know, if you're offended by what I said today, please come and explain this, and definitely please come and explain this. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me. Click this video, it's a YouTube recommendation, or this video, you really like it. Not really sure if videos are popping up right there, maybe forgot. You can subscribe, catch all my videos. That, I appreciate you. See you in the next video.